Good morning, cultists. Uh, welcome to our, I guess, third stream of uh, CK2, specifically the Monarch's Journey stuff. Good morning, Maxwell. Hope you're doing all right. Hope things are good and uh, nice with uh, nice weather in um, Quebec, because uh, it's looking a little cloudy in BC right now, though I am seeing some hints of blue in the sky, somewhat. But in any case, uh, good morning, mediocre Vanthus. Hope you guys are doing well as well. Um, so our last stream, we tried to, we tried to do uh, King Llewellyn the Second, the Great. Didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to. I kind of bungled up um, a claim that I got for a duchy in uh, Wales, as well as the invasion of uh, Scotland and whatnot. So. Either we continue off where we um, last uh, saved the game, which is, I believe, at around the time when we um, tried to uh, steal the relic from the uh, holy, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, religious society, or we just completely start from fresh. And I think we're just going to just completely start from fresh, because I looked at the save file of the uh, one where we, um, you know, made a save before we stole the relic, and it turns out that it's only been running for like four years. It's terrible. The weather's terrible in Quebec. That sucks. <laughs> Damn. Well, you'll be glad to know that things aren't much better in, um, you know, Vancouver. So, yeah, at least we got that going for us uh, together. So I'd say let's just restart and uh, start things from fresh. And that way we can try to, I don't know, finagle things a little bit better. Though, I still think that uh, swearing fealty to England is the way to go here. But in any case, uh, let's see. I think we'll do this. Turn off Aztec Invasion. And I think we're also going to go with Historical Bubonic Plague or... Dynamic. Very earliest 200 years after the game has started. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Because they don't want the um, the uh, plague to hit us right at the start, and anything else. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, does your drift? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? And I think we're good with this. All right, so sweet. Do this. Swear fealty to Ghana. I tried to, but they wouldn't accept me. Apparently I was too, um, too much of a noob. What you can do with this guy is marry an English princess that has a claim on England and press at Easy Kingdom. Is it that easy? Like, I know because there's Princess Joan or something of, uh, England. Um, that you can marry, like, right off the bat, and she does have a weak claim on England. And I guess if, um, the kingdom gets taken over by a child. Arthur here. Hmm... Then we can press the claim. But that being said... They cannot be easy to destroy, right? Hmm... Because he's got 22,000 troops right now. But... I do wonder... This guy's a kid. If we had the piety... Would we be able to request a claim on this guy's uh, territory? Because he's fairly weak. I guess I'm not much stronger, but still. So I'm thinking... Let's see. Also get an alliance with France and the HRE. Ah, right. Right, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. So I think I also have some family members that I can uh, marry off to various uh, people and whatnot. Let's see. Uh... Hmm... Do you have any siblings that I might be able to... Uh get married to my various family members. What about you, miss? What if we get you married to my cousin? Oh. We would get no non-aggression pact. Huh. Why is that? And also... Hmm... Strange. Right, then what about the HRE? Because... You've got a... Boy. Do you have any other family members? Or maybe I'll go with this guy, and hope that uh, Heinrich snuffs it sometime soon. Hmm. Let's see. Because he does have... 
Pawn right here as well. But Otto's the uh, next in line. Right. So I might be able to betroth his children to... Hmm. So that's the only way that we can get a non-aggression pact with the HRE. Is through me. Interesting. Very interesting. And also, let's quickly take a look at our counselors. They're not great, not gonna lie. So I'm gonna look for new uh, council members. Oh, shoot. What should I do first? Uh, I should probably get married. And let me go ahead and go find a uh, court physician as well. Mm, Duchy of Powis, we don't need to make right now. Uh, ruler are married. Domain too big. That's fine. Once we get married to someone, we should be fine. And I guess we should try to groom an heir, right? Or should we try to become a, the King of Wales? Hmm. I think probably groom an heir is the more important uh, thing to do here. And in terms of focus, I think seduction is the way to go. So for myself, I'm thinking we'll probably marry someone who's a little bit older. So that we don't have to worry about um, siring any legitimate children. And that way we can just uh, have as many bastards as we want. And then eventually... Oh, right. It's my cousin as well. So what if I betrothed you to not them, but someone else? Like, for example, I don't know. Otto here. Jean. Would you like to maybe uh, get betrothed to my little bratty cousin, Onion? What do you say? No? Okay. Desires a better non-aggression pact. Well, you're not going to get one from me. I'll tell you that much. What about you, France? Besides your two sons. Uh, Marie here is looking spruce. And uh, very seductive. So we can try to, um, I don't know, bang her. But otherwise... No, that still wouldn't result in a non-aggression pact. Huh. And Ghana here. Um... <laughs> I guess... No, wait, Ghana's down here. Ne ne never mind. Uh, I can't seem to get a, a, a betrothal uh, with uh, Ghana, unfortunately, so... Yeah, Prince Marie the Spruce. <laughs> I meant to use the word spruce in like a, um... In a uh, young and spry kind of way, but I guess I kind of described her as a tree. <laughs> Oops. We should also try to get the uh, late feudal administration so that we can get, um... What's it? Something like ultimate geniture and not have to worry about uh, siring bastards. But I think first off, probably title revocation stuff is gonna be more important here. So we'll get that passed, hopefully without any incident. And then once our council members have decided, we'll uh, get them kicked off and replaced and all that shit. All right, so you can go suck off the Pope. And same with our chancellor and marshal. Train troops, please. And I believe we cannot get any claims on anyone right now, but uh, hopefully soon. Alright, so let's go with the martial education for this guy, and for you, I'd say stewardship is kind of your gambit. Hey Adrian, uh, what did you miss? You didn't miss much. I basically just restarted this run of um, King Llewellyn, and things are going... well, they're going. <laughs> we'll see where they go and how they go, but uh, for now they're going at least. Alright, so let's get ourselves married to... Mm. What is this? Patrician Oberto of Grimaldi. No. Burgundy? Or... No. Or should we go with Helena here? She's quick. And she's got some pretty good stats. Now, this wouldn't really give us a pretty... Uh, this would give us a pretty useless alliance. If that. But... Hmm... I do wonder... Should we try to marry into England? Because I have no issues with uh, swearing fealty to uh, Lionheart here, for sure. Because um, I think that would be the easier way to uh, gain territory instead of um, England, which is kind of what we need. So my thinking is that we release this guy as a tributary. Or we use him for a little bit before we do that. Hmm. But I'd really like to get a claim on Brittany here, if that's at all possible. Alright, so what I need to do is get some piety for that. Uh, 
So we can try to donate some money to the uh, Templars and whatnot and get piety that way. And then we can try to get a claim on the Duchy of Brittany. Huh. Well, I guess there's no real point in uh, sucking off the Pope right now because he's 85 years old. He can probably... I, at this point, I, I'd be very surprised if he can still get it up. Um, but, you know, I guess a blowjob is a blowjob. It'll always feel good no matter how old you are. Can someone confirm that for me? Can someone who's like 200 years old confirm whether or not blowjobs still, uh, still feel good at your age? Or if it just feels like someone's trying to uh, suck off your skin. Which does sound pretty sexy, not gonna lie. Um, but okay. I'd say... Let's maybe get a claim on this guy's stuff first, and then we'll go ahead and release him. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow money from the Jewish money lenders. The old person's stench would be nightmarish. From yourself, or from the person that's giving you the, uh, beige? Uh, I'm assuming from yourself, but, um, yeah, from the perspective of the person who's giving the beige, I can imagine that the old person smell... I mean, it's gotta be in your mouth. You gotta taste that person, right? Whoever is more ancient. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, so we got some piety there. Nice. Now, may I please get a claim on Brittany? It would apparently be denied. Uh, what about this place? The Hebarth. Alright, I see. So, only the, um... What's it? Claim for the county... Would be even remotely acceptable. Alright, then I guess we're still gonna have to wait for, um... Piety and whatnot. Okay, so... As Maxwell was suggesting, we can actually, um... Marry Princess Joan of England. And then press our weak claim for the kingdom once, um, you know, if uh, Richard here bites the big one. And then his, what, his nephew? Brother? Who is this Arthur in relation to, uh, oh, is he? He's not actually the brother, is he? He's what? I guess some distant relation to uh, Arthur here, or uh, Lionheart. So if he takes over, then we can um, get a claim on, um, uh, yeah, we'd be able to press our claim for the uh, kingdom. But what with England being so strong, I think it's going to be a little difficult. So I'd say for now, let's just try to look for places where we can get some uh, uh, marriages for our family members. Let's see. Uh, I kind of wish I could just see by, all right, great house, my dynasty, there we go. Alright, so we have my uncle here, who is a kinslayer, who's already married. Who exactly did you kill? Uh, I'm assuming you killed one of my... your siblings or something. Owain, let's get you married off to... Hmm... Princess of Norway? Is that a good idea? Uh... At least this way we can get some prestige and uh, we can get these guys to uh, start pumping out children, right? That way we can, um, we can work towards that achievement of, uh, giving, uh, um, dynasty member, uh, vassals and shit. But first, I think I might want to look for people who are lustful. Oh no. These are mostly just courtiers. That's unfortunate. Oof. That would not be a great uh, marriage there. Dang, Nabbit. Fine. Then let's go with courtier in Oxford. Ooh. Another lowborn. Ah, Remini. Well, her fertility is fairly low. So is this guy's. What about you? Ah, this guy might be a better fit for um, marrying someone with a lower fertility. All right, go for it, kids. Go for it. I need every single one of my um, dynasty members pumping out children, left, front, and center. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Heinrich, commander of Austria, or Dirk. Dirk, Dirk Zoon. Perfect. Absolutely love it. So wait, he would gain the uh, prestige. So then would we lose prestige? Hmm. Oh wait, no. Is that his dynasty? 
Oh. Oh, I see. So he's the relative of a king. All right, go for it. Why not? All right, so that's, that's those two taken care of. You, miss. Get another matrilineal marriage to... Wait, really? Those are our only options? No. Come on. All right, what about Onion here? Onion, let's get you married to the Princess of Hungary. Fantastic. All right, uh, and there's Tomas. Let's get you... Mm, Denmark? Yeah, I'd say let's go with Denmark. Margareta of Denmark. Fantastic. And then these two. Need to get the betrothed. I'd say... Probably not the Princess of Hungary. No, I think she's a little old. What about this lady? Eh... I guess. Sure. And last but not least, Other Onion. You can marry... Let's go with... Hmm... Her? Or... No, she's just a courtier somewhere. I'd rather not. Gotta get some uh, prestige at least. What? Oh, that's my mother. Hey, maybe I can make, get my cousin betrothed to my mother. Fanta- Oh, look at that. Isn't that just great? <laughs> oh, yeah, my uh, my cousin's fucking my mom. It's okay. I mean, you know, I'm cool with it. I I've seen them do it. I mean, he's just a little kid and my mom's kind of old, but, uh, you know, still good. Still good. And uh, let's get this guy betrothed to... Courtier in. Oh, wait, no, that's a terrible idea. Oh, I see. I thought her having a claim would mean that um, she's at least somewhat noble ish, but maybe not. What about you? Uh, go for it. Why not? Alright, so that's that taken care of. Uh, for myself, though, I'm actually going to go with the Regent of. Poland, or is that a terrible idea? Most likely. Hmm. But once we start having children and whatnot, we should be okay, I think. All right, there we go. So by doing that, I essentially have locked myself out of uh, making children with my wife, but that's fine because I'm looking to sire a lot of bastards. And I think that's gonna be the playthrough here. Hmm, let's see. Who do we want? Do we have any genius ladies out there who are willing to bend and sp Oh ho! No! She's past the age of childbearing! Son of 50 million puckered buttholes. Alright, so I believe we actually tried to uh, bring these ladies into our court last time. Mm. This lady, Homelaug, actually became celibate upon seeing my face and decided to stay the fuck away. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen again this time, but we'll see. Uh, so that's that taken care of, and I guess we can actually unpause the game now, if you can believe that. Fantastic. Do we want to go for the prestige or the money? I think... Um, let's go with the money. 78.8 ducats, or 76.8 ducats is actually fairly substantial at this point. Whereas 100 prestige, not so much. Alright, so can I actually get a non-aggression pack with you or something? I guess we have a non-aggression... Oh, wait, we don't have a non-aggression pact with them. So despite my cousin heir being married to, uh, Margareta here, I guess we can't get a, uh, thing with Denmark. Unacceptable. But I guess I have no real choice. All right, so that's my other cousin married. Fantastic. And that's me married to Helena, the former regent of Poland. Fantastic. Uh, shortly after the, after you spread word, uh, spread the word of you seeking the employ of a court physician, a Jewish exile appeared at your court. The exile introduced himself as Yehuda of Fradzik, Fradisk, and explained that he served as a physician to many rulers before, and as such offers his services to you in return for fair pay. Sure, sure, take what little money I have. And I guess we're going on a crusade to Egypt. Yet again. Fantastic. Can we actually change the target? We need 250 piety. 
because if we can get a change to, I don't know, maybe get this guy excommunicated and then uh, change the target to him, would that work? Hmm. I'm a little skeptical, not gonna lie. Oh, whoa! Okay, so we can get that uh, claim for Brittany now. Fantastic. Now, is he allied to anyone else? He doesn't have any packs, so I guess we're good there. Uh, and we should be able to... Oh, no, we can't get a claim on that one. All right, so if I were strong enough, I should be able to take on Brittany here. Um... Hmm... Problematic. Problematic. What if I somehow try to take his thing? He does have an heir, who's my cousin. Right. So if I get you assassinated in some way, and we're still voting on this. Well, at least people are still voting my way, knock on wood. Um... But essentially, I need more troops to be able to attack Brittany. Okay. Uh, I think for now, we're just going to have to wait because we pretty much have all of our um, troops replenished as is. The only way we'd be able to win this is through mercenaries, which we cannot really afford right now. Alright, miss. Welcome to our court. Let's get you seduced. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And they've also married. Fantastic. And Homelog, welcome to our court. Great. She would actually be a really good uh, spy master, but right now we're kind of voting on stuff. So, Jihad for Anatolia. Jihad for Anatolia. What? You mean against this, I guess? They don't really own much of Anatolia, but I mean, yeah, that's really no concern of ours. And a Manichaean faith is triumphant. Wow. Alright, here comes a fresh new pope, hot off the press, looking to get his uh, dick sucked, etc, etc. As popes often do. Uh, she's young? She is deceitful though. But I'd say... Let's confess my love. Bant immediately. One bang and bam. I'm already lustful. Fantastic, that's like me in real life. Good grief. Um, and I guess we're still seducing her, right? Or is that not the case? Nope, that is not the case. Gotcha. Alright, so we also have home log here. Let's take turns banging both these ladies. Eventually, we can um, work up to asking them for a threesome and then get slapped and then uh, get no access to no, uh, more of a JJ's. Fantastic. So we got the title revocation law approved. That's great. Now... Can I plot to revoke some stuff? I cannot, because I actually own everything here. If I can take this guy's thing, that would be great. Ah, I might be able to get him excommunicated, possibly. We'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, but I wouldn't mind getting myself some new... new folks here to uh, replace some of these incompetent uh, dudes. And I think we're gonna have to go with uh, men right now, unfortunately. That's fine. Uh, who else? So we need to get a new spy master. I'd say our steward's fairly good. Yeah, probably no need to replace him. Let's get Alan here as our uh, marshal, though, for sure. What about the uh, diplomat dudes? All right, we'll get this guy too. Geralt of Rivia, please come to our court. And do we want a new court chaplain as well? I'd say yes. Let's go with this quick dude. Sure, spend all of our money on inviting people into our court. Fantastic, because why not, right? Alright, dude. Welcome to our court. Let's get you set up as my new spy master. Fantastic. And you. I believe you're meant to be our new court chaplain. That's great. Have you sucking off the Pope. Hope your blowjob skills are great. And uh, Alan, let's get you set up as my new marshal here. And... Perfect. Oh, right. We also need to get a new um, diplomat guy. That's fine. Actually, what if we start fabricating a claim? Mmm. Easier said than done, because that relies on RNG. Uh, home log? Meet in my room, my lady? Fuck yeah. Alright, miss. 
Ladies, please let me know when you're pregnant so I can stop banging you senselessly. Fantastic. Oh, nice. Wow. Very nice. It's a good thing we kept, kept our uh, steward, I guess. Not that it would be much of a difference. Uh, she's young. Again, confessed by love, and it worked. Sweet. Back to home, Laug. So I'm hoping that we can get a few daughters uh, from all this stuff. And then eventually, um, we'll get them uh, married off to English dudes and all that shit. Otherwise, if we can get a good, uh, quick son, then we'll uh, set him up as our legitimate um, uh, heir. Uh, but... If we can't, then if it's a daughter, uh, sorry, if it's a uh, regular son, we'll just have to um, disown him or something. Because I guess I don't really mind too much if uh, if I end up without an heir, because he'll take over. Hmm. Actually, maybe I'm not okay with that. Well, that's fine. Let me at least get that claim on Brittany now, so that we can get ahead of this thing. And that's 177. Uh, Heidi. Sure, go for it. Fantastic. Our claim has been, uh, made. Let's leave her a note. Oh, she's pregnant! Oh, fantastic! Uh, yeah, you know what? We don't need to uh, chase her anymore, because she's already carrying my sperm. Great. Uh, do you have any more children? Any more that we alliances and whatnot? And also, isn't England supposed to explode at this point? Ah, and she's also pregnant. Yes! My super sperm has uh, impregnated both women. Fan-fucking-tastic. Whoa! Very nice, steward. He's trying to kill some bishop, dude. Why? Um... Can you not do that, please? Did this man somehow anger you in some way? I don't understand. But, sure. Okay, so we definitely can't get that uh, non-aggression pact or alliance with uh, Denmark. Right, right, okay, okay, well that's fine, that's fine. Wasn't really expecting much of it. Anyways, uh, Onion, do I want you to be my rival? No, I have no time for you, kid. So get the fuck out of here. Alright, so, we need to get uh, my children married off to people with the English culture. Only English uh, spouses with titles or claims count toward the marriage. And then we also need to get uh, vassals of my dynasty. And then this one is... I think that one actually might be the easiest uh, achievement. Because uh, we basically need all this stuff. This stuff and I think... Not Somerset though, is it? No. So we've got the majority of it now. Um, die fed. Or, or whatever. Breckenshire, Lulzring, and then Gwent. So, yeah, basically these five counties here are all we need. And then we can get that done and knocked out of the way. And, uh, I guess we've offended some random-ass baron. I don't care. Really, I mean. It is not physically possible for me to care any less. Alright, sir. Um, are you sure that you don't want to get uh, excommunicated? Hmm... That's going to be interesting. Well, hopefully my Chancellor and, um... Hey, a daughter. Fantastic. Alright, so we will definitely legitimize her. Wait. But sanctioned is my daughter and can be married off for, to form alliances. If she ever has children, a new dynasty will be created for that line. I'm going to go ahead and fully just legitimize her. Hmm. Of course, my wife isn't going to be happy about this, but, uh... Oh well. Sucks to be you, wife. Sucks to be you. Alright, good job. Uh, can you become shrewd? Fan-fucking-tastic. Can you become diligent? Fan-fucking-tastic. Holy shit. Good job, buddy. Alright, let's get you two married off. Fantastic. And Homelog, now that you're no longer pregnant, I'm gonna stuff myself inside of you. With your consent, of course. And, uh, we'll get it on like Diddy Kong. Sweet. So those two are wed, and we'll leave her a note. Uh, let's make a lewd suggestion. She does have a lot of, uh, I guess, traits that kind of lean toward that. And... What? Oh. She's my heir. Oh, until we get a son, of course. Fantastic. Alright, well, now that that's done, 
Romilda, the day after you've uh, given birth to my uh, new daughter, I'm gonna go ahead and seduce you. Uh, I hope we're into scat play because Romilda is currently shitting herself, which is of course not a great sign, but um, I mean, you know, when you gotta get some, you gotta get some, right? Of course.